My name is Jason Carr. I'm 43 years old and I live in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. I've lived in St. Stephen, New Brunswick since I was eight years old. In the summer of 1983, my father moved us, a family of five, from Fredericton, New Brunswick, here to start a business, and that business was Carr's Transmission. He specialized in automatic transmissions. And that is where my father made a living until 2000 when he sold it to his employees. I did spend all of my school years here in St. Stephen and I graduated from St. Stephen High School in 1994. After high school being bounced around a few jobs, I decided that uh, it was time to crack down and look for a career. Now I had decided against working at the local chocolate factory here in town as most kids do out of high school because it's pretty well guaranteed work. I didn't think that that work was for me because I find myself to be quite the people person and being in a factory environment certainly didn't fit the people person build. So I decided that I wanted to do something different. Now, not really sure how, but truck driving came to mind and uh, I was all set up to take that course, had money in hand, and was gonna start the course on a Monday, and the Friday before, I received a phone call from Rob Sawyer, who is now the owner of Cox Electronics here in town. I went in for the interview, was offered the job, and I had to make a decision whether or not I wanted to take the job that was gonna pay me right away, or go on the course and risk finding a job when everything was all said and done with a special driver's license in my hand. So I took the job at Cox's and that is where I got my start in customer service. I worked at Cox's for seven years. Where I earned the highest sales volume in 2002. And I had to beat out my current salesman that works for me now, Bill, to get that recognition. For about a year uh, in between working at Cox's, I left there to go work at the local GM dealer. And uh, that's where I realized that I really had a passion for selling cars. Granted, at the time I didn't do very well and I didn't make a whole lot of money, but I knew that I wanted to do it again at some point in my life. I went back to work at Cox's until 2003 when I was offered a management position at our local Canadian Tire. And I worked at Canadian Tire for seven years and the last three of those seven years I worked as the service manager in the automotive department. And I learned very quickly how fast paced and demanding that job really was and it was demanding not just to the customers but to your staff and to the owner of the business. Somewhere in that mix, my dad decided he wanted to do something different after he retired in 2000, and he thought selling cars, maybe one or two here and there, was the way to go. So I joined him, I helped him clean the cars and work on the cars in my off time. And in 2010, I left Canadian Tire, which was a good paying job, to try the uncertain and uh, joined my dad full time. So in 2010 in April, him and I worked together making and building what is today Old Car Auto Sales. We grew to the point that in 2013 we were able to build a new dealership, and uh, which is where we are today. We have four service bays, six employees, and uh, we've been in business for 10 years now. I've often been asked what do I do in my spare time and besides YouTube? Well back in 2011 I joined the St. Stephen Milltown Rotary Club and I've been a Rotarian in multiple capacities and even holding the title of President of the local Rotary Club for one year. And in 2016 I was elected to the Town Council as the Deputy Mayor of the Town of St. Stephen. And we meet a couple times a month and different uh, under different committees and that certainly keeps me busy but we always have fun. At the end of the day it's always fun having input 
into the future of your community. In January of this year, 2018, is when I started this YouTube channel. My son introduced me to a few YouTube creators that he follows, and I stumbled upon a gentleman by the name of Steve Freeman. Now, Steve has a channel that he names Send It Steve, and he's a used car dealer, or he was, and he's got a C5 Corvette, and, you know, watching him do his thing made me realize that, you know what, this is something that I think I can do and that I can get used to. So I started with my phone recording a few videos and editing them right on my phone until I decided it was time to upgrade and I upgraded to a GoPro and with that GoPro I made uh, you know better quality movies because the picture quality was a lot better than a cell phone. Um, after a while realizing that the sound quality wasn't great so I ended up upgrading to the current camera that I'm using now which is a Canon Rebel T6i. With some editing software and a steep learning curve I've been able to put a few videos together. I recently celebrated my 100th upload onto YouTube and my goal for YouTube is 1,000 subscribers by January of 2019. Currently I sit at 345, I know that I've got a long ways to go, but if you don't set goals in life, you'll never achieve them, and I believe that with everything that I do. What my YouTube channel focuses on is on my business. Um, old car auto sales, we primarily deal in secondhand vehicles and repair. I basically diary the goings on of a daily life of a car dealer. We also have projects. My dad has a 36 Dodge Street Rod. I have this car behind me, which is a 79 Chrysler Cordoba. And I quite regularly track the progress of each of those builds. Mine is further along than my father's, but when you have a project like a hot rod or something like that, they're never really done. On Tuesdays, which is likely when you're watching this, I generally have what's called Reviews Day, where I take one vehicle off my lot so I can give my local viewers a more in-depth look of some of the vehicles that we have to offer. Occasionally, my son and I will go out to an undisclosed location and grab a video camera and have some fun. Now, I generally have to disclose that these are vehicles that are owned by me, so we, the way we treat those vehicles certainly is not the way we treat the vehicles we sell. I've also been asked what is the goal of my YouTube channel. Besides trying to reach a certain number of subscribers, it's to have clean, family-friendly videos with a positive message at the end of each video. Now granted, I carry the same message along everywhere I go, and if you've watched this channel before, you know what it is, and you can say it along with me. Focus on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Now, that can have several different meanings. Uh, it can have the literal meaning of while you're driving in your car or truck, you look forward while you're driving so you can focus on what's coming in front of you. But I like to look at it a little bit deeper as a Christian man. I'm gonna focus on the things I can change in my life which lie ahead of me rather than the things that fall behind me that I can't change. Things in the past will stay in the past and uh, we are the creators, really, of our own destiny. So the choices you make today, regardless of good or bad, is what you will follow tomorrow. So I would hope that anybody that watches my videos and hears that message, that they will be able to implement looking forward and leaving the past behind and see what a powerful message that is coming from my channel. So, so if you've never really heard that before, I encourage you to sit down and look at what lies ahead and some of the decisions that you have coming up in the near future. If you are a first time viewer to this channel, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and tell me where you're from. Guys, this is the point in the video where I say, focus on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you, God bless. We will see you in the next upload.